Hi, I'm Jess, part-time Hobbit, and I'm here to talk to you about Tolkien. Now you may notice something about this video, uh, perhaps that I am on my kitchen floor. I will be explaining why I'm on my kitchen floor at the end of this video, as well as a couple of other very important announcements. So make sure you stick around to the end of this video so that you don't miss those updates. Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I had video ideas for uh, this week's video and none of them panned out, and I left this way until the last minute, so I thought of the stupidest thing I could think of, and I'm gonna do that. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm gonna be making some sock puppets. I can't promise they'll be great, but I can promise we're gonna have a lot of fun, so uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can do. I guess we're gonna start with Gandalf, because that's the one I have uh, some ideas ideas on. I've got this nice gray sock from my pile of unwanted socks. Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's been a while since I made a sock puppet. Um, not my first time. It's actually in a very intense puppet making competition in my childhood. It was school wide, and yes, I'm still bitter about how it turned out. I should have won. My puppet clearly had the most technical talent involved. I made a weird little puppet named Mr. Math. Which was bizarre, because I hated math, but I guess I thought it would appeal to the teachers. And then guess what? A girl who dressed up a spoon as Hermione Granger won. I'm still pretty bitter about that. For the record, I have this container of uh, baby pups, not because I have a baby, but because I have rats. This isn't excellent. I had this white fur that I thought would work well for the beard, um, and then I only had black spray paint, so that's what I used on it. So it kind of just looks uh, like black streaks, which isn't great, but it's all I have, so let's hot glue it on. This is really dumb, isn't it? I am not a left-handed hot glue user. I'm so sorry, Gandalf. Does this scare you? Nobody tell my landlord I'm spray painting things out my window. I just had the thought that I should pull up a reference photo. I'm not sure what I think a reference photo is gonna do. Fool of a duck! There are better ways I could have done this. But there's no time for that in the moment. In the moment, there's only tiny wizard hat. Just don't look at the back of him. How are you feeling? You feeling pretty good? I feel like I've gotten to a reasonable stopping point with, with him, and I'm probably gonna do some more, but I'm not entirely sure what, so. Till the next puppet. For Galadriel, it sure would be nice if I had a, a, a white sock, but seeing as I don't, I'm gonna use this blue sock, because at least it matches like her eyes, is what I was going for. I don't know. Isn't she lovely? If it wasn't abundantly clear that I don't know what I'm doing, well, it probably is by now. But I think that sock puppets are one of those things where you don't really need to know what you're doing at all. At least that's... that's what I'm hoping. Ah! Hello? They do. Yeah, I think this is good. I mean, it's not good, but, you know. Should I clothe you? Now that, that's something. You're here, there's nothing to fear. All right, we got those two. Next up, we have Saruman, who I, um, I can't even begin to describe to you how unprepared I am for this one. I don't even have a white sock. I have this sock that's light gray, and, and that's just gonna have to do. There's so many buttons on my floor now. Uh-oh. You know what I think is, is pretty funny? Um, is, is the fact that I used to make puppets professionally. <laughs> that someone used to pay me to do this. And now I am using all the skills that I learned to make arguably some of the worst puppets I've ever seen. I hope my bosses are proud of me, and I hope they never see this. Oh no, he's kinda cute. I don't wanna make him evil now. I don't know how beards work. Ooh, he needs some little eyebrows. Look at my boy. It's hard cause sock puppets don't have noses. Ooh, now that kinda looks like Saruman. I mean, if Saruman was made of a sock. Now that. That's pretty sleek, isn't it? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Maybe this would have been easier if I, I don't know, had a white sock. A 
But the Lantia is a dangerous tool, Salaman. Why? Why should we fear to use it? Place of a dark lord, you would have a queen! Not dark, but beautiful and terrible as the dawn! Treacherous as the sea! New power is rising. Its victory is at hand. You shall not pass! The quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray but a little and it will fail to the ruin of all. Yet hope remains, while the company is true. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Go now and rest, for you are weary with sorrow and much toil. Tonight, you will sleep. Welcome, Frodo of the Shire. One who has seen me. All right, well, hopefully you guys just watched some pretty fun skits if, if I was able to make that work. This wasn't what I was planning on making, but I still hope that it was enjoyable for you guys. So if you're wondering why I'm on my kitchen floor, it's cause I'm moving. But on that note, this will be my last video for the next two weeks. So I'm taking the next two weeks off to pack and move and unpack. So this is gonna be the last video you see in this apartment, but my new one is really, really fantastic and it's gonna give me a lot more space to work. So I'm super excited to show that to you guys as soon as I can. If you wanna stay more up to date with things, you can follow me on Instagram because I can just post more regularly on there and I will be posting over the next two weeks. So if you wanna stay up to date at all, the link to that is in the description. Less than half of you are currently subscribed, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get notified every single time that I update. The link to my Kofi virtual tip jar is in the description if you want to make any donations to the channel and make sure you hit like on this video. Thank you all so much for joining me this week and I hope that you all have a very happy hobbity day.